It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Montebello Barnyard Zoo in Montebello, California. And I heard they have animals here and a fairy village. <laughs> so I'm going to be a fairy and grant wishes to any animals or fairies I see. I have my fairy wings on and my magic fairy wand. Will you help grant wishes with me? Awesome! Hmm, let's go find that fairy village. <laughs> hey, horsey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> We're looking for fairies. <gasps> hey, should we grant this horse a wish? <laughs> yeah! Okay, I need some space. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. <laughs> Look, horse food. <laughs> Here you go, horsey. Your wish is granted. <laughs> okay, see ya. I haven't seen any fairies yet, but check it out. Goats. Hello, goats. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Ooh, did you know goats have four stomachs? <laughs> yeah, that's why they're so hungry. <laughs> Do you know where the fairies are? Okay, let's keep going east. Bye, go. <laughs> Haven't found those fairies yet. <gasps> oh, but I have a great idea. Check it out. A tractor. <gasps> let's go on a ride to the fairy village. Hey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Can you take me east to the fairy village? Yep. Great! Come on, let's take a seat. This looks like a great seat for a tractor ride. Oh, here we go! Whoa! There's so many animals. Hi, llamas! Oh, look! There are three llamas. <laughs> they look so cozy and all that fur. Oh, and look! An emu! That's a flightless bird from Australia. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh. It's a bumpy ride. <laughs> oh, and look, some horses. Hello, horse. <gasps> look, a merry-go-round. Oh, that looks like so much fun. Okay, hocus focus, we're looking for fairies. That could be pretty fun. Maybe later. I think we're getting closer to the fairy village. Oh, I can't wait to meet so many fairies. <laughs> yeah! We finally made it to the fairy village. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> Great job. Whoa, check it out. Look at this. Oh, it's a little forest for fairies. And look, a table and chair for their yummy lunches. Oh, and they got lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Oh, and a bridge over glittery water. And a squirrel. <laughs> Hello, squirrel. Let's keep exploring. Whoa. Fuck, a door. Hmm, I wonder where it leads. Let's knock on it. Knock, knock, knock. Is anybody home? <laughs> oh, just a little gnome. Hello. <laughs> Oh, and look, more fairies. Hello, little fairies. I'm Mika, nice to meet you. <laughs> Since you're always doing so much for people, like sprinkling fairy dust and collecting teeth and gems, do you need anything? <gasps> oh, you would like a home? <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm really crafty. I know just what 
you need. Mika's here with a plan. Your fairy wish is my command. <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> we need to build our fairies a little home. <gasps> hmm. I have just the trick. Mika's here with a plan. Your every wish is my command. <gasps> Whoa! Look at this house. This is a perfect house for a fairy. Are you ready to paint our fairy house? <laughs> yeah, me too. Wow, there are so many colors for us to choose. Blue, green, like grass, pink, purple, and yellow. And check it out. My two favorite colors are together. We should definitely start with those. Grab my paintbrush. Oh, do you know what this color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Dip it in water first and dip it in the purple paint. This will be such a cozy home for the fairies. I hope they like it. <laughs> okay, let's do yellow next. Yellow, just like the sun. That looks so pretty. <laughs> and bright too. Okay, we got the front. Let's work on the roof. I think I'd like the roof to be blue, just like the sky. Let's do pink with our pink paintbrush. Whoa, we're almost done. Check it out. Oh, such a beautiful fairy home. Let's do the sides now. Hmm, what color haven't we done yet? <gasps> green. Let's put some green on our house. Dip my brush. Check it out. This is such a beautiful, colorful fairy home. <laughs> Let's go see if they love their new house. <laughs> Hello, little fairies. We made you a beautiful, colorful home. <laughs> Hope you like it. What's that? You love it? Oh, that's great news. Do you have everything you need? <gasps> oh, you would like us to help you collect gems? Oh, okay, I got it. Mika's here with a plan. Your every wish is my command. Wow, great idea. Let's go collect some gems for our fairy friends. See you soon. We made it. <laughs> Let's go get some stones for our fairy friends. <laughs> oh, look. These are the different stones we can find. Amethyst and calcite. Whoa, I wonder how many stones we'll find. Ooh, water. All right, I have my mining tray. Do you know what this color is? That's right, it's yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's round, just like a steering wheel. <laughs> this helps us sift through all the dirt. So we get rid of what we don't want, the dirt, and then we get our crystals inside. Ready to give it a try? <laughs> Great. Whoa, check out this dirt. Check it out. <laughs> Look how many gems we got. Ooh, I think this one is rose quartz and it's pink. Pretty. Check out this one. Wow. And this one is black. <laughs> and little. Let's count how many gems we found. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven gins for our fairy friends. Let's go give them to our fairy friends. <laughs> Here we go. Don't worry, little fairies. We collected all the gems so you can rest and relax. <laughs> you get a gem. And you get a gem, little froggy. <laughs> and you get a gem, too. <laughs> oh, would you like a gem, too? Okay, I have plenty to share. Oh, I love giving. It makes me feel so happy. <laughs> Would you like a gem too, little gnome? <laughs> okay, there you go. And you get a gem too. Hope you're enjoying your new home. <gasps> oh, check it out. Look at this little fairy. She's taking a nap. <laughs> Let's leave her a crystal for when she wakes up. Sleep tight, little fairy. <laughs> That was so much fun being a fairy with you today. We got to pet some animals and feed them lunch. Oh, we got to mine for gems and we paid in a fairy house. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Wait. I forgot to grant one more wish. Mine. Hmm. Oh, I would like to ride this merry-go-round. Mika's here with the plan. Your fairy wish is my command. Bye-bye. <gasps> And today, I'm at Play Day in Brooklyn, New York. Today is all about fashion and style, which I love because fashion helps you express your personality. Check out my outfit. I have two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, and I love accessories like my jam pack and my watch. And because today is really sunny, I have one of my favorite accessories, sunglasses. Hello. <laughs> I feel so cool in my sunglasses. And I heard I get to put more things on my outfit inside. Come with me. Hi, I'm Mika. What's your name? Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. My name is Laura. Welcome to Play Day. Oh, thank you. What kind of things can I do here? Oh, we have so many awesome classes. You can do painting, sculpture, cartooning, architecture, and fashion design. <gasps> And design, that's what I'm interested in. I want to add some things to my outfit. Great, so the first thing we can do is start with a mood board. Have you ever made a mood board? Yeah, I've made a mood board before. A mood board is a board of pictures and colors and words that inspire you. Okay, great, so let's get started. Follow right, me. Come on. Wow, this is a big board. Well, Mika, this is your mood board and here are all the materials that you can use. And here is your apron. <gasps> Thank you so much. So have fun and I'll come check on you in a bit. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Whoop. Oh, I'm so excited to make this mood board. Okay, let's see what we have. <gasps> Whoa, look at all of these colorful balls. Ooh, those are really fun. <gasps> There's some paint. Hmm, what should I start with? <gasps> Crowns, oh, I'm gonna start with purple, one of my favorite colors. Hello again. Hey, what do you think? It looks great. Can you tell me a little about what you made? Sure, I'd love to. So I put the word confident on here because confident is the feeling I feel when I wear this outfit. And I have music notes because I love to sing and dance. And I have a big purple M because 
M is the first letter of my name, Mika, and it's purple, one of my favorite colors. I think we're ready for our next step. I think we have enough inspiration, so we should do a sketch now. Oh, a sketch. I know what that is because I'm such a planner. Fashion designers will use a sketch to help them plan what they want to make. Okay, so let's go. Follow All right, me. Come on. Wow, this is cool. So one way to make a sketch is by tracing your body on the chalkboard. And then based on your mood board, you can add all the elements that you want to put on your garment. Wow, what a good idea. Okay, Mika, can you please lean against the chalkboard? Oh yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, for fashion designers, it's super helpful to plan and sketch out a idea or design before you make something. Ooh. <laughs> all right, how's it looking? I can't wait to see. Okay, Mika. Ready? Yes. All right. <gasps> yes, I love it. I'm feeling inspired already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can add the elements to your design and I will meet you at the sewing station. Okay, see you there. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so first I think I'm going to draw the outfit I'm wearing right now. So what am I wearing? What do you see? Yeah, my purple t-shirt. So let me find some purple here. Whoa, look how big this chalk is. It looks like a potato. <laughs> All right, so let's see. T-shirt, short sleeves. Okay, that. All right, I'm gonna color it in. And do you notice anything else on my purple shirt? Yeah, I have some yellow on there. Whoa, look at this piece of chalk. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some yellow here on the sleeves. And yellow here. And where else is there yellow? Up here, around my neck there. Some yellow. And I have a yellow pocket. <laughs> right side. Ooh. Okay, what else do I have? Purple shirt and my jeans. Okay, I'll use the color blue. All right, and you can see a little bit of my ankle, so I'm gonna cut them down here so I have room for my shoes. I'm gonna color them in blue. Okay. Blue jeans, my purple shirt, and oh, my accessories. I have a compass watch that's purple and yellow. So I'm gonna use this purple again. And let's see. There's yellow on it too. Oh, I'm feeling like such a little designer. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can copy it. There's a little yellow there. There's a little yellow there. And the rest is purple. And there's a white circle in the middle. Can you see it? It's really tiny. Okay, that. And then check out my bracelets. There's blue, yellow, purple, orange. Wow, that's a lot of different colors. So we get some purple on there, blue, and ooh, a little orange. Okay, and yellow. Awesome, and oh, speaking of yellow, I have a yellow bow in my hair. Oh, I should draw my hair. It's brown and curly. Can't really tell what color this is. Let's find out. Ooh, look at those curls. Go on, Mika. Woo. Okay, okay. And then I'll put my yellow ribbon here. Mika, you look amazing. All right, and I have some white and purple and yellow. Ugh. 
shoes, K. Whoa. Okay, some shoes. And hmm, I feel like something is missing. I have my bow, my shirt, my jeans, my accessories. <gasps> my jam pack! Oh, I forgot my super fun jam pack. Okay, let's see. I need blue and orange. And there's a white circle in the middle. Hmm, just like my compass watch. Okay, so I need orange and blue, and I'll use this black to draw the strap, and then the big circle. Okay, so there's blue on top, and blue on the bottom. These two are orange. And there's the white button in the middle. Okay, yes, she's looking great. <laughs> okay, so I wanna add something, I think, to my shirt. There was something on my mood board that got me really excited. Do you know what it is? It's the letter M for Mika. I think it would look so cool if there was a purple letter M right there on my pocket. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's kinda hard to see. Yes! Yes, that's what I want! The letter M sewn onto my shirt. That way my outfit will look super complete. And I think I'll just add some little bedazzle here in my bag for fun. And I forgot my face! <laughs> All right, the eyes, a nose, and a giant smile! Twins! <laughs> All right. Let's go over to the sewing station so I can get my M put on my shirt. Come on. Hey. Hi, Mika. I'm so excited to be at the sewing station. Welcome. I have the sewing kit ready for you. <gasps> Did you decide what to do with your design? Yes, I'm so excited. I want to add a purple M to my shirt. That's great. So I'm going to give you another shirt so you can change. Oh, cool. All right, thanks. I'll be right back. OK, I'm back. Hi, Mika. Hi, thank you for the shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have my shirt here ready for the letter N. That's great. So first thing we're gonna do is talk about the materials that oh. we will be using. Yeah, there's a lot here. So for sewing, we use needles, mm -hmm. plastic needles for kids, and sharp needles for adults. Whoa. So make sure that you have a grown-up with you when you're using those sharp needles. Yeah, good idea. We also use red, and scissors. Oh, so needle, thread, and scissors. Got it. Perfect. So to thread the needle, we're going to pass the yarn or thread through the eye of the needle. Oh, oh I bet the eye is right here on top. That is See thread. that opening? Ooh, that looks <laughs> kind of difficult. <laughs> so don't worry, I have a trick for it. Okay. You can fold your yarn mm -hmm. so that way it's easier to pass through the needle. Oh, smart, okay. Perfect. So next, you're gonna choose the color that you're gonna use. Hmm, there are a lot of great colors. Oh, I think I wanna use orange. I love this color. <laughs> Perfect. So now, we're gonna cut the thread. Okay. To measure, you hold it with your fingertips. There's the end. What there it is. <laughs> and then pull it to your elbow. Okay. Ooh. And that's a perfect size to start. Nice. You wanna cut it? Yes. Team work. Perfect. Love it. So now we're gonna make a knot on one of the ends of our thread. Can you make a knot here? Yes, perfect. And we're gonna call that the tail. Ooh. Got a little tail. And now you can thread your needle. Okay, should I try your trick? Yes. Okay, just like the professionals do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful because the end of this needle is sharp. <laughs> so close. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine, I can do it for you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really tricky to do. Yes. 
It's okay. It takes practice. I have to practice more. All right, nice. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. So now you can start sewing. Another tip is that you hold both the needle and the thread when you're stitching. Oh. That way the thread will stay in the needle. Got it. Okay. Oh, I don't have the letter M. <laughs> no worries. I have it ready for you right here. <gasps> wow. It's exactly what I had in mind. Look, it's purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, thank you so much for making this. You're welcome. Okay, so... I think I want it to look like this. Hold it up so you can see it. What do you think? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So cute. Okay, so hold both the needle and the thread. And you're gonna watch my fingers here because it's really sharp. And just poke a hole and then pull the needle through, right? Yes. Okay. Make sure you pass all the thread through. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Good job. I did it. My first stitch. <laughs> okay, and then go back through. Yes. Okay. Jeez, it's harder than it looks. Hi. <laughs> right. Okay, look, it's starting to stay on the shirt. Good job. Now you secure your M. Okay. Thank and you. You can add a few more stitches. Okay. Maybe I'll do one here. Okay. The final stitch. All right, now what do I do? Well, now we can cut the excess thread. Okay. I can help you. Thank you. I can take the needle. Oh, thank you. Be careful. Yes. All right. I can't believe I just did that all by myself. Great job, Mika. Thank you. What do you think? I love it. Oh, thank you so much for helping me today. You're welcome. I hope you had a good time and keep practicing everything you learned today. I will, thank you. Okay, thank you, Mika. See you Bye. later. Bye. <gasps> okay, I can't wait to put this on. See you soon. <gasps> Check it out. The letter M is on my shirt and I think it looks really good. <gasps> I love it. Now my outfit is complete. Oh, and I have one more thing for fun. For my jam pack. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I had such a fun day. I got to make a mood board, a sketch, and I sewed my very own M on my shirt. This was so cool. And what's cool about fashion and style is you can express yourself through your clothes and accessories. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. This place is really fun. They have games, they have dance classes, and I want to learn some new dance moves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika, I'm Trudy. Welcome to O2B Kids, the new learning playground. Oh, thank you so much. So I want to learn some new dance moves today. Mr. Christian is available for a dance lesson right now. Really? Where is it? You can head to the theater. Oh, let's go to the theater. <laughs> This is it, the theater. Oh, let's go inside. Whoa! <laughs> Amazing dance moves! Thank you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Mr. Christian. I'm the dance teacher here. Wow, a dance teacher? Could you give me a dance lesson? Sure, but first, what moves do you want to learn? Oh, I want to learn a hip hop move, a break dance move, and a ballet move. Awesome, awesome. But first, before we do that, we have to go warm up and stretch, okay? Oh yeah, makes sense. Where do we do that? Follow me. Oh, okay. Follow Mr. Christian. Oh, I'm so excited to get started. Me too. All right, first, we're going to warm up. Oh, it's so important to warm up your body before you dance, get your muscles loose and warmed up so you don't get hurt. Absolutely. All right, so first, we're going to run in place and count to eight. Oh yeah, you count to eight. 
great in dance because you can easily break up the sections in music when you're learning dance moves. And you don't have to count too high. Absolutely. All right, ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Oh. <laughs> I'm already warming up. Awesome. All right, so next thing, we're going to do our pizza stretch, okay? I love pizza. Me too. Okay? Okay. So we got to go into our straddle. We're going to sit on the ground. We're going to go into our straddle. We're going to spread our legs out. All right. You can sit on the ground too. All right. And we're going to roll our dough out. So we're going to roll our dough. Shh, shh. And we're going to pat, 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 pat all around. Pat, 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 pat. There you go. And then we're going to pour our sauce all around. Ooh. And then we're going to spread our sauce, spread our sauce. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese. Ooh. Sprinkle our and cheese. if you're dairy free, you can use dairy free cheese. Cheese with no dairy. There you go. And then we're going to put our toppings. Ooh. I'm going to put chicken on mine because I okay, love chicken. Okay, I'm going to put some mushrooms and ooh, green pepper. Ooh, I'm going to put some pineapples on ooh. there. Mm -hmm. That sounds yummy. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to put our other mittens on. Yep, okay. mm -hmm. protect ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the pizza, we're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to open the oven door. We're going to put the pizza in there. We're going to close the door. And then we're going to count to eight. Okay. Ready? We're going to go one, two, two three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Ding, 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 ding. It's ready. Fast cooking pizza. Yeah. So we're going to take it out, open the door. Take out the pizza. All right, ready? And three, two, one. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's I'm okay. so sorry. Awesome, awesome. All right, and we're going to put our feet together. Okay. And that's our final warm up. We're going to put our feet together. All right, and we're going to say hi, Toes. Hi, Toes. Goodbye, Toes. Goodbye, Toes. Hi, Toes. Hi, Toes. Goodbye, Toes. Goodbye, Toes. Hi, Toes. Hi, Toes. I quickly grab them before they go away. Wait. And count yeah. to eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Yay! Oh, I feel really good now and warmed up. Awesome. I'm well, ready to dance. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. Okay. Come on. Let's go learn some dance moves. Whoa. We are in a real dance studio. This is awesome. I can't believe you are going to teach me hip hop moves break dance moves, and ballet moves. You know a lot about dance. What do you love most about it? There's just so many things about dance I love, but a few things that I love are that I can use one side of my mind, which is the logic side, and the other side of my mind, which is the creative side, and put them together through my movements. Also that it's a form of self-expression. Oh, yeah. So you can really express yourself through the movements. And also, it's a sense of community. It's really about love and sharing that with everyone. Oh, that's so cool. I also like to express myself through music and dance. It's such a fun way to just be yourself and let loose and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you especially do that in hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, well, what are the hip hop moves we're going to learn? Okay. So our first move is our step touch, step touch. Okay. And when we do that, we're going to count to eight. Okay. Oh, you yeah. Ready? Count to eight. I remember. All right. So first, we got to step out with our right foot. Okay. One. And step together. Two. Mm -hmm. And you're going to step out with your left. One. Step together. Two. And then repeat Step. that. Yep. Touch. I did. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Step touch. Okay. So we're going to do that a little faster. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we're going to do the same thing. Okay. But we're going to add arms to make it look really cool. Whoa. You ready? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Wow, that did look yeah. cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, so after that, we're gonna do our top rock. And oh. our top rock is a really cool move because it's their basic move for a break dancing. Okay, so we are learning a basic move of break dance. So yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so first, you're gonna take your right arm. Okay. So right hand over, and then your left hand under. Ooh. 
okay? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna step out with your right foot, then okay. your heels gonna point up to the sky, and then our arms are gonna go out like you're about to give a big hug. Oh yeah, Yeah. Hug. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat it to the other side. We're gonna step out with the right, we're gonna, put, we're gonna switch our hands over, left over, right under, and then we're gonna kick out with our left foot, and our toes point up at the sky again, and we're gonna make a big hug one more time. Ah, oh, there you go. Good job. Nice. You think we can do a little faster? Yeah, let's try it. Right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Oh, that was Good so job. Fun. Thank yeah. you. All right. And our next move to make a little more flavor and Ooh. put our boost on it, yes. we're going to do a crisscross. You ready? Crisscross? What's that? Okay. So it's pretty, pretty simple, okay? So your feet are kind of shoulder width apart. Okay. And think of it like a scissor, okay? okay. You're like, you're chopping paper, okay? You go, so you're gonna go cross with your right over your left. I know it's a little confusing, but we'll go through very slow, okay? okay. We're gonna go right foot, shoo, shoo. And we're gonna cross, shoo. Oh, it is like yeah. scissors, like and you're cutting yeah. paper. Exactly. Shoo. And then we're gonna switch it to switch feet. So you're gonna go left or right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two. And switch. Yeah, there you go. Do a little faster. Okay. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Two, 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 two. Yes, <laughs> good job. Thank you. That's awesome. All right, after that, we're gonna move into our ballet. Oh yeah, I really love that ballet. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put our heels turned out. Okay. You see your toes or heels are kissing each other and going okay. mwah. Awesome. And we're gonna put our arms into our beach ball like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna count. We're gonna count to eight one more time. We're gonna go. One, two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Okay? okay. And that is called our plie. Oh, and that means to bend in French. There you go. So we're gonna do just a little bit faster. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And then to add a little more spice, Flavor to Love our it. ballet. Uh -huh. We're gonna do some tendus, okay? Oh, and tendu means to stretch in French. There you go. So we're gonna do our tendus to the side. We're gonna start on our right side. We're gonna do it four times. And we're gonna go one with our right toe out. Uh -huh. And we're just gonna bring it. One more time. Out. Boop. Bring it. Out. Boop. Out. Bring it. In. Out. Out. In. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Okay. So our hands are still on your hips like this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go out with your left foot, out. And then bring it. And you go out. Out. And bring it. In. And you go out. Bring it. Out. Bring it. Oh, Good job. Thank you. Wow. Can we do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Good job! Thank you for teaching me all of those moves. Of course, of course. Are you ready to put it all together? I think so. All right. It's going to be a little faster. It might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I think so too. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. We're going to start with the step touch. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. After that, can we freestyle and express ourselves however we want? Absolutely. That's the point of dance. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. I think I'm ready to do a performance. <gasps> I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay. All right. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. You lead the way. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Introducing the wonderful, talented, and unique Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 
My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. Well, you know, I love to dance. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those new dance moves. Of course, it's my pleasure. <laughs> You're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, Mr. Christian. You're see welcome. ya. Bye. Wow, we had so much fun today and really learned a lot. We learned about warming up our bodies and staying loose when we learn new dance moves. And speaking of dance moves, we learned new Hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. And we did a great job counting to eight. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <sighs> awesome. M E E K A H, Mika. All right, we'll see you next time. Keep dancing. <laughs> It's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, this is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just Crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can hey. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. Let's see, you want a treat? You think Aww. Sprout likes treats? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> can we bring Sprout down to the ground? And yeah. See if Sprout will want to play with us. Oh, whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal. What do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. They need a lot of things. Aww, and is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food, bowls, uh, litter box, litter. Um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you would adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. Oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us, and yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with 
cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully mix. American Bully mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, aw. And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aw, so, so sweet. What's this? A blue, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aw, this dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies. Puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Melissa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an E collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, it's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm, will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay, whoa, look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. There's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. I see some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder.
wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. Oh, there's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, Please don't bother me, I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. <gasps> Oh my goodness! Who I is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh! Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, Wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aww, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> you have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww, that's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun, getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika, and today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow, one of my favorite colors. Come with me. Whoa, 
Oh, cool. These are buckets that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm. But this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand. And it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's whoop, a stem and the leaves and look, the fruit, the best part. So see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one, Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Whoop, there's one down here. Three. Four. Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there, there's more. Wow, look, it's a baby blueberry shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw, but one day it's gonna grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers, see? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how? Kind of looks white on the outside, that's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. <gasps> Check it out, a really big yellow slide. Oh, I have to go down. Let me put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa. I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here in the bottom, get situated and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. 
All right, let's see. Uh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is going to be awesome. Look how high we are. You can see the entire farm. <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. You sit down and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay, you wanna watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. Come too. There's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out! It's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right. I'm ready, horse. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stopped. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. Can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Ooh. Good night. <laughs> Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You can do this. Woohoo! You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons. And you need sugar to make it sweet because the lemons are pretty sour. And you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half. Like that. And this is a juicer. We're gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part 
We have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that such a pretty color? All right. Now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh, I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so I picked blueberries. I made blueberry lemonade. What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflowers, that's right. I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Where are the sun? Oh, I see sunflowers down there. Let's get a closer look. Come on. I found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. We did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Triple Play Family Fun Park in Hayden, Idaho. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. <gasps> What's that sound? <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa! Are you a Velociraptor? Whoa! Wait! I heard about you. Are you Stanley? Oh, can you show me some fun things to do inside Triple Play? Oh, awesome! Come on! Whoa! There's water! Yeah! Oh, Stanley! You know those dinosaurs over there? Ah, oh, hi, I'm Mika. <laughs> Whoa, Stanley, you're so nice to show me around. I love dinosaurs. <gasps> we should all act like dinosaurs. Can you help us? Okay, awesome. What's something a dinosaur does? Oh yeah, stop, stop, stop. Stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, what's something else dinosaurs do? Oh yeah, they have really big and mighty roars. Let's roar together, ready? Whoa, Stanley, I don't know if I could roar as loud as you. What's something else that dinosaurs do? What, dinosaurs dance? I didn't know that. Let's all dance together. Yeah, you got the move, Stanley. Okay, all right. <laughs> Aw, it was so nice meeting you, Stanley. 
Thanks for showing us how to be dinosaurs and taking us to this really cool space. I'll see you next time, buddy. Bye. <gasps> Whoa! Did you see how big his tail is? Stanley's so cool. I wonder what else is in here. Whoa! This place is really cool. I've never been in a space like this before. There's a huge pool. Whoa! Look at this. It's a raft. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle. <laughs> and do you know what color it is? That's right, it's the color red. Good color. Alrighty, oh. <gasps> Let's get a closer look at Stanley's friends. Come on. Okay, let's sneak up on Stanley's friends. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Mika. Look, can you see their teeth? They have way more teeth than we do. And they're so, so sharp. They're carnivores. That means they like to eat meat. Whoa. These are velociraptors. And they run really, really fast on their legs. Whoa. Look how big and sharp that talon is. Whoa. Can you imagine if you had those on your toes? It would be really hard to wear sneakers if your toenails were like that. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Whoa! Look at this! It's like a water playground. They call it the Children's Lagoon here. Oh! Look at that yellow slide! That would be so fun because you can land in the water and get all wet. <laughs> wow! Whoa! See how the floor is painted different colors? I see yellow, there's blue, oh, and all the way back there is red. It makes the water look like it's different colors. <laughs> Whoa, looks like you can walk up a net, go up the yellow stairs, and there's more water slides. This place is so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, here's another fountain. Wow. There's water all over this. I think you would need a swimsuit to play on that playground. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Dinosaur footprints. Whoa, do you think Stanley made those or another dinosaur? Hmm. Here's another one. Whoa, look how much bigger it is than my foot. Whoa. Wow. Oh, come here. Wow. This is an actual mold of a real dinosaur fossil. Do you know what kind of dinosaur it is? It's a velociraptor. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those today. Whoa. Look at its mouth. You can see its sharp teeth in there. Velociraptors lived 150 million years ago. <laughs> Whoa. Is it snack? These are the ribs. We have ribs on our sides. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at the tail. Even the tail has bones in it. Wow. <laughs> Velociraptors are really cool and really ferocious and strong and super fast. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> More dinosaur footprints. Let's see where they take us. Oh, look at this. A crate of objects. Hmm. And we're by a giant pool. <gasps> That only means one thing. We should play Sink or Float. <laughs> Will you play Sink or Float with me? Awesome, let's do it. All right, let's see what we have in the crate. We have a blue bouncy ball. 
<laughs> will it sink or will it float? We won't know until we float. It's floating. <laughs> and we have a, ooh, a spatula. Maybe you've seen these in your kitchen. You can make pancakes. Ooh, do you think it will sink or float? Let's see. Whoa, it went to the bottom, but the handle is sticking up. It sunk. All right, will it sink or will it float? Wow, this is a really cool cup. I love these colors. Oh, I love it. But will it sink or float? Okay, what else do we have in here? Ooh, here's a fun truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ooh, nice and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Huh, I wonder if this will sink or float. Only one way to find out. Huh. it floats. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Hello, whoa. I can see you way clearer now. <laughs> Let's see, will these silly glasses sink or float? It looks like they're sinking, wow. I totally thought they were going to float. <laughs> All right, what else is in here? Oh yeah, another Velociraptor. <laughs> Will you sink or will you float? We won't know until we throw! That dinosaur is definitely floating. All right. Hmm. Whoa! Hey! This is a ruler. You can use it to measure things. I wonder if it will sink or float. It's sinking. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Should we see if the rest will sink or float in one big dump? <laughs> Let's do it. One, two, three. Whoa. Wow, I see some diving sticks that sunk to the bottom and everything else is floating away. Goodbye. is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> awesome. <gasps> Let's spell it in the pool. Okay, ready? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having a good time with me today in this super cool place filled with velociraptors. Rawr! I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> hey everyone, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Woo, look at these blocks. They're so fun and light. They're made out of foam. And look, this one is orange. And oh, there's a blue one there too. And it says, welcome. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm really excited because there are trampolines here and foam pits that you can jump into. And I really want to learn how to do a flip. I wonder if there's someone here who can teach me how to do that. Let's go find out. I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sky Zone. Ooh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> awesome. Okay, first we do need to pick out some wristbands Ooh, in order to go inside the park. I love wristbands. Hmm. So which color would you like? Oh, let's see. There's orange, green, <gasps> yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I want Mine this one. too. All right, here, let's go. Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, 
let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect, <laughs> thank so you. So what brings you in today? Oh, I really wanna learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow, okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> trampolines and this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Wow, five trampolines! Huh, I wonder where Quincy is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip. Oh, I'm so excited. Where is he though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it. Woo, wow! <laughs> Quincy! Quincy? Hmm. I don't think anyone's in here except me. <laughs> Whoa, it says foam zone. That's where we are in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, that makes a cube. And these are made out of foam, so it's soft and squishy, so it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit. And you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange, blue, and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. Maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, this is cool. But I still don't see Quincy anywhere, huh? Whoa, I know what this is. It's orange, it's round, and oh, it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be in a trampoline park? And hey. There's a basketball hoop <laughs> and another trampoline. I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's see. On three, one, two, three. Ah, didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it. Words. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm. Maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm. Maybe. I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? One. Oh, I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <sighs> Quincy! No, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. 
It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Whew, you don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails. And cats, meow, meow. <laughs> and kangaroos, yeah. Kangaroos have long tails that help them balance. And they're really good jumpers. <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! More trampolines! Look how many are in here! Whoa! Wow! That has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Are you Hello? Quincy? I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika! It's nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? Nice to meet you too. I'm having so much fun here. I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard, right? Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can oh, you help me? I can take good care of you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just going to touch the ground. Oh, okay. We're just touch, touch the, the ground. ground. Oh. You know, and then we're gonna lean to the left, and then we're gonna lean it to the right. Okay. Ah. And you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> Wow, okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. All right, you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump twist then. Whoa, a jump twist. Okay, ready? Whoa, like oh, that? Just like that. Wow. Right. I got what else can we do? You. Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah, have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah. So what are the first steps, just first as a steps, reminder? Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay. Visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck and roll. And then become the ball. Become the ball. <laughs> Here I go. Whoa! <laughs> Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Oh, whoa! <laughs> that was really fun. It was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. Well, first, you're gonna get a whole <laughs> lot of air. Whoa. A whole lot of air. And then, next you're gonna do, you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're gonna tuck your chin. And remember, only try and do a flip if you're with a grown up. <gasps> Whoa, did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, <sighs> basketball helps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes, you just gotta have fun with it in the air. Hop over your leg. Wow! You're so good Meditate at jumping! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! That was so fun! But Quincy, I don't know if I'm ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So, I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, and go forward like a ball. Exactly, it's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it, 
Thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm going to take all of these things and I'm going to practice and then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. I'm going to go bounce now. All right, me too. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline Park. <laughs> I really wanted to learn how to do a flip today, and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me, that's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. We'll see you next time, bye. indoor playground in Los Angeles, California. This place is so awesome because you get to move your body and have a lot of fun and we get to play a game today. Come on! Whoa! This place is amazing! It's slide time! Meet you at the bottom. And I landed in a ball pit! Whoa! Ball pits are so fun! Ooh, and I like all of these colors. Let's see. Pink. <laughs> and there's blue. And white. There's so much you can do in a ball pit. You can dance. You could juggle. Whoa, I only know how to juggle two balls. I don't know how to do three yet. I have to keep practicing. <laughs> hey, look over here. Whoa, at the very top, it looks like a big scoop of ice cream or maybe a marshmallow or something. Oh, and there's a cool looking pattern on it. White, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, all the way around. Oh, I like that. Ooh, let's go inside. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is a fun little space. Hmm. Whoa, look at this. This ball has words on it. Oh, let's read it. Go to the slide for an item to catch and find the play area that looks like it's match. A match, that means that it looks the same. Hmm. Hey, looks like we get to exercise our bodies and our minds. <laughs> this is gonna be a really good game for the mind. Hmm, go to the slide. There must be another slide here. Let's go find it. Oh, this has to be the other slide. I wonder what's gonna happen here that will help me play the game. <gasps> Look! Whoa, have you seen this before? It's a stethoscope. Maybe you've seen one at the doctor's office? Yeah, a doctor will use this to listen to your heartbeat. Oh yeah, nice and healthy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a doctor center around here. Let's go find out. Hmm, I wonder where this stethoscope goes. Oh, look at this cool thing. Oh, hello. Oh, let's look up here. Hmm. I don't think this is where our stethoscope belongs. <laughs> it's really fun though. Whoa. Hmm. <gasps> hey, look, mini clinic. We found it. This is a doctor's office. The stethoscope definitely belongs there. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, hello, welcome. Do you have an appointment? You're, oh, yep, you're right there. Come on in. <laughs> Doctors and nurses are so cool and very important. 
They take care of us and make sure we're feeling nice and healthy. They check your heartbeat. See what kind of tools are in here. Ooh, they'll probably look at your eyes and look inside your ears. <laughs> and sometimes they have you stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ooh, and look, there's some glasses. Ooh, one of my favorite colors too, yellow. And look, you can dress up like a doctor. So official. And a little hat. Whoa, how do I look? Dr. Mika. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely where the stethoscope goes. Okay, let's just clean up and go back to the slide. Come on. I'm so excited to see what the next item is. <gasps> Here it comes. Whoa. <gasps> Do you know what this is? It's a tomato. Ooh, one of my favorites. Yum. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if there's a grocery store or something here. Let's go look. Whoa, a carousel. Ooh, look at this nice orange one. Let's get on. Oh, hello, horsey. I'm Mika. Hmm, I wonder how this thing works. That's not it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Hey, what a cool way to look for a space where the tomato belongs. Hmm, let me know if you see something. <gasps> right there. A supermarket. This is definitely where the tomato belongs. Hey, look down here. More food. Yeah, a supermarket or a grocery store is where you can buy food like a tomato. Hmm, what are some other red foods? <gasps> Ooh, what about this red pepper? Yummy. Hmm, oh, here's another red pepper. And, oh, I love this red food, strawberries. <laughs> I'm gonna have a red meal. Hmm, ooh, more strawberries. And, Okay, now I have all of my food. I have to pay for it. Let's go inside. <laughs> Come on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, I guess I can ring up my own items. Hmm. All right, bell pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. More strawberries? Beep, beep, beep. Oh, now we're cooking. Pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh. Apple. Beep, beep, beep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And tomato. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah. Now we're grooving. How am I going to pay for this food? I don't know, but I'm in a good mood. <laughs> oh, it looks like I have a credit card here. Let's see. My grand total is... <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, that worked. All right, don't need any change. I think I'm done here. <laughs> okay, so the tomato is with the food. Good job matching with me. Hey, let's go back to the slide and see what else comes down. Come on. Oh, I'm having so much fun. I wonder what the next item will be. Whoa, look at this. A firefighter helmet. Yeah, firefighters will wear a helmet like this to protect their heads when they're fighting fires. Huh, I wonder what kind of area would have a firefighter helmet. <laughs> Let's go find out. Whoa, did you find where the firefighter helmet belongs? <laughs> Good job, looks like a match. See, there's a fire truck and firefighters drive fire trucks to where the fire is to put it out and save the day. <laughs> this is a really cool truck. Oh, see the big ladder and, ooh, a walkie-talkie. <laughs> Firefighter Mika here, over. <laughs> yes, that is correct, everything is fine here. Yes, have a good day. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and look, Here's where the siren is, so people know that a fire truck is on the way. It sounds like, 
Something like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'll put this firefighter helmet here. That way, if someone wants to play, they can be the driver and wear the firefighter helmet and look like a real firefighter. <laughs> let's go back to the slide and see what the next item is. Come on. Yes, so far, so good. I think there's another item about to come down. Whoa! Oh, that was fast. Ooh, what is this, Gouda? <laughs> That's kind of cheese. One of my favorites. <laughs> oh, do you know what letter that is? It's the first letter of the alphabet. <laughs> That's right, the letter A. Hmm, I wonder if there are more letters around here. Let's go look. Okay, I have the letter A. I wonder if there are any other letters around. Hmm. Oh, I see letters in there. Let's go inside. Oh, whoa, it's a trampoline. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have the letter A and there's B, C, D. This is definitely where the letter A goes. Hey, I know what we could do. We could think of an animal that begins with the letter A and then we could act it out. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> I have one. Ant eater. <laughs> Can you act like an ant eater? They do, in fact, eat ants. They have really long nose and mouth and they go around and they look for ants. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Hey, give me that ant back. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> And the next letter, the letter B. Ooh, I know one, a bat. Let's act like bats together. Bats begin with the letter B. Spread your wings and fly like a bat. Or jump, whoa. Kind of feels like I'm flying for real. <laughs> and the letter C. Cat begins with the letter C. Hmm, how can we act like cat? Get your little paws out and meow, 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 meow. Whoa, calm down, cat, calm down, cat. What about the letter D? The animal starts with the letter D. <gasps> dog! Can you act like a dog with me? Okay. and see if there are any more items. Come on. Oh, these slides are so cool. I wonder if anything else will slide down. Oh, look, it's one of the ball pit balls. I wonder if we need to go to the other ball pit. Whoa. Oh yeah, we definitely need to go to the other ball pit. Let's go. Okay, let's go find that ball pit. Come on. Whoa, a big white slide. Oh, I have to go down. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! Whoa, that was so fast. Do you see the ball pit? It's behind me. Whoa, let's find a fun way to get into it. Hello. Whoa, look at this. It's a big slide. All right, I'm going down. See you at the bottom. Whoa. <laughs> I love that there are two ball pits in this indoor playground. Whoa. Oh, we just swim on over. <laughs> Whoa, this is so fun. This is definitely where the white ball belongs. There you go. <laughs> hey, look at this wall. See the two colors, pink and blue? And it makes a pattern, see? Pink, blue. Pink, blue. Do you know what the next color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. 
Hey, look at that little car. It's so cute. And there's three more ball pit balls. There's a pink one and a white one and a blue one. And there's words on this one. Let's see. You've finished the game. Now count all you've done. Then go down the slide for some extra fun. <gasps> Whoa, that means we finished the game. We did it, we did it. We really, really did it. Oh, awesome. Okay, it says count all you've done. Do you remember the items that we found? Okay, we found the stethoscope, the tomato, the firefighter helmet, the letter A, and a ball pit ball. Will you count the items with me? <laughs> Great. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And then it says, go down the slide for some extra fun. <laughs> well, let's go down the slide. Come on. Yes, now it's my turn to go down the slide. Will you count down with me? <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. Hey, we figured everything out. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah, we did it. Let's go. High five. <laughs> nice job. Thank you so much for helping me with that matching game. We exercised our minds by figuring out which play center matches which item, and we exercised our bodies by running around this indoor playground. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. And thank you for learning with me. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. Do you know what's inside of this museum? All different kinds of animals and dinosaurs. And I heard that they have one of my favorite dinosaurs, a T-Rex. Do you know what a T-Rex looks like? I have one in my jam pack. Whoa, here it is. <laughs> hey, will you come with me and see if we can find a T-Rex inside? Let's go! Whoa, I'm inside of the museum. I can't wait to find the T-Rex. Whoa, that is definitely not the T-Rex. Do you know what that is? It's a blue whale. Oh, and look, I see a bandage on that whale. <laughs> Even whales get boo-boos. <laughs> Did you know that the blue whale is the biggest animal on the planet? It's so cool. Oh, I see someone over there who works at the museum. I bet they have more whale facts. Come on. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm Mika, what's your name? Alexandra. Hi, Alexandra. So I bet you know something about the blue whale. Yes. You do, what do you do here? I'm an educator. Oh, an educator, so yeah, you definitely know. Um, what do blue whales eat? Blue whales eat tiny krill. Whoa. Look at these tiny shrimps. Can you believe a big blue whale likes to eat these tiny little shrimps? <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, do blue whales have teeth like us? No, they don't have teeth. They have baleen. Baleen? Oh, whoa, feels like straw. Can you imagine if you had straw in your mouth instead of teeth? Ugh, <laughs> so how do they eat? They open up their mouth. Okay. Very, very big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They take a cup of water. <gasps> put krill in it, mm -hmm. then they push the water out with their tongue, and what's inside? The mm. krill. Mm. Cool, <laughs> that seems really complicated. <laughs> that is not how I eat at all. Wow, and what is that? It looks like a big bone. This is a part of the, well, vertebra. The vertebrae, well, mm. we have those. You can feel it in your back. Yeah, can I hold it? Yes, sure. Whoa. Oh, this is so heavy. Look how big this is. Ours are so tiny. Blue whales are huge. Okay, here, I'll give that back to you. 
you. Wow. Well, thanks for sharing those facts with us. I'm gonna keep exploring, but maybe I'll see you later. See you later. All right, awesome. <laughs> Come on. Where is the T-Rex? Where, where is the T-Rex? Whoa. That is not the T-Rex, but it is a very large mammal. Do you know what it is? It's a walrus. Uh, not a real walrus, this is just a model. But this looks pretty much exactly like a real walrus. Whoa. Do you see those big tusks? They're made out of ivory and they're really strong and really sharp. And that one looks like the size of my arm, maybe even bigger. Look, can you imagine if you had something that big hanging out of your mouth? Could you even find a toothpick big enough to clean that thing? <laughs> they can use them when they're in the water to poke into the ice and pull their bodies up. Very helpful. <laughs> Will you act like a walrus with me? Okay, get your tusk out. <clears throat> Let's keep looking for the T-Rex. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Walrus out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're so funny. That's why you're my favorite. That is why you are my favorite dinosaur. <laughs> oh, hey! I'm still trying to find the T-Rex, but I don't see any dinosaurs anywhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking over here. Maybe we can find something. <gasps> Whoa! Gorillas! Gorillas are super cool. They're really big, they're really strong, they're hairy. They can stand up tall just like humans. But the male gorilla is 10 times stronger than a human. That's pretty strong. <laughs> Will you act like a gorilla with me? All right, let me see your muscles. Pound your chest. Let's keep looking for more animals. Whoa, yeah, I feel strong just acting like a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. See in the back there? A giraffe. Giraffes are so tall. They can get up to 18 feet tall. That's really, 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 really tall. And they have super long black tongues. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Do you know what that animal is? That's right, a zebra. Zebras are awesome. They have black and white stripes and a group of zebras is called a dazzle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Check out that dazzle of zebra over there. <laughs> they run super fast and they can run in zigzags. Will you zigzag with me? All right, let's go. Run in zigzag. <laughs> Whoa, elephants are so big, so they have to eat a lot of food. Actually, most of their day is filled with eating. They're herbivores, so they're vegetarians. They don't eat meat. Wow, and look, big tusks, just like those walruses. <laughs> hey, will you act like an elephant with me? Get your trunk out. Ready? <laughs> Maybe you can stomp like an elephant. <laughs> hey, these really big cats are lions. I love lions because they have really big roars. Kind of like the T-Rex. <laughs> See that one with the mane, all of the hair? That's a male lion. That's how you know, because it has a mane. The other lions that don't have manes are females. And a group of lions is called a pride. <laughs> I still don't see any dinosaurs though. Will you keep looking with me? All right, come on. <gasps> wow, we're in the dinosaur room. There has to be a T-Rex here, right? <sighs> that means yes. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a dinosaur over there. Ah, long tail, lots of teeth, but that's pretty small. A T-Rex is way bigger than that dinosaur. It's almost as little as this toy dinosaur. Hello. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at this dinosaur. Whoa, it has a long neck. Its head is going back really far. 
Oh, I wonder if it's a dancing. <laughs> nice moves. But not a T-Rex. Hmm. I can't see the T-Rex anywhere. Do you see a T-Rex? Looks like this, big head, so many teeth, really big talons. <sighs> my favorite dinosaur. Whoa, look how big the head is. See those big jaws with tons of teeth? Wow, they're so sharp and there's so many of them. Did you know that the T-Rex could have up to 50 to 60 teeth in its mouth? That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> Whoa, you can see the whole body of the T-Rex. The head, the ribs, the big legs, the big feet. Roar! Roar! Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Mika. What's your name? Hi, my name is Alana. Hi, Alana. What do you do here? I'm a museum educator. Whoa, a museum educator. So you must know a lot about dinosaurs. I do. Oh, cool. Well, I'm really excited because my favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I really like the T-Rex also. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. What's one of the reasons you love the T-Rex? I like the T-Rex because it was one of the biggest predators. Wow, I know. It's very cool. The T-Rex is huge, has a really big head and legs and a really big tail. You know, they use that big tail to help them balance. Oh yeah, that's right, because their heads are really heavy, right? Really big heads. Yeah, so the tail helps them balance. Like that. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? Look at this big foot here. Whoa, is this a real foot of a T-Rex? This is a model. Okay, okay. But this is like an exact replica. Yeah, you can see how big it was. Whoa, am I allowed to touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Wow, look at these toenails. <laughs> They're so big and pointy. So they had three big toes uh -huh. on their back foot. You know what else I like about the T-Rex? What? How big their teeth were. Oh yeah, they have really big teeth. Look at this. <gasps> Whoa, look how big this tooth is. This is a model of a real T-Rex tooth. Wow, can you imagine if your teeth were this big? Look, is it the same? <laughs> That's really big. What do you think they might have liked to eat with a tooth this big? Oh, probably meat, yeah. right? They were carnivores. Oh, so they were meat eaters. Cool, right. and what's this? It looks like a big rock. It is a rock, except it's a very special rock. Oh, why? This is a fossil of a dinosaur bone. A real dinosaur a bone? A real dinosaur bone. Would you like to touch it? Yes, please. It's heavy. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Okay, all right, it's a little heavy, but it's a real fossil of a dinosaur bone. That's amazing, and what part of the dinosaur is this? That was from their leg or their thigh bone. Oh, so like <laughs> down here. Right there. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks for sharing this with me. Yeah. So is the T-Rex the biggest dinosaur? It wasn't the biggest dinosaur, but this museum has a model of one of the biggest dinosaurs. What, can we see it? You wanna go see it? Yeah. Let's go. All right, come on. Wow. <laughs> This is called a titanosaur. Titanosaur, wow, it's really cool. So the titanosaur family was a group of dinosaurs that were sauropods and herbivores. Oh, I know what a sauropod is. That means it walked on four feet. That's right. Ooh. <laughs> and an herbivore means that it was a plant eater. That's right. Yeah, very neat. Now this titanosaur is over 120 feet long. Whoa. Or 37 meters, <laughs> that's and, really long. And it weighed almost as much as 10 elephants. Whoa, 10 elephants, that's very, very heavy. Wow. But you know what's cool about this one? This one was just a juvenile, which means it's kind of like a teenager. Whoa, so it's not even fully grown? It gets bigger than this? It does. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for showing me, showing me this titanosaur. I had fun with you. I have to go teach a class. Oh, but I'll see you soon. Okay, see ya, thanks again. Wow, 
what a fun day. We got to see so many cool animals like the big blue whale and walruses and lions and we got to see my favorite dinosaur of all time, the T-Rex. <laughs> Did you have a fun day? <laughs> Me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to have more fun and see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right. We'll see you next time. <sighs> <laughs>
sweet. <laughs> what else? Hmm. Oh, maybe you would wear this name tag so everyone would know what your name was. Dr. Mika. <laughs> That's cool. And nutritious nibbles for healthy and happy kids. <laughs> That's really funny. Looks like pretend vitamins or something. Oh, have you ever seen a tool like this? Sometimes doctors use something like this to check your reflexes. Let's check my reflexes. <clears throat> All right, usually they hit you in the knee right here. Ready? Whoa! Did you see that? Let me try the other leg. <laughs> I have really good reflexes. <laughs> All right, I'll put this back. <sighs> it's so fun playing. I wonder what else they have here. Come on. Whoa. Hey, look over here. Even with basic shapes, you can use your imagination. Like, come down here. <gasps> this is a my dog house. I have a dog in here. Do you want to say hi? Okay. Come on out, Rover. Oh. oh, he's sleeping, taking a little nap. Oh, <laughs> hey, and I could pretend that this is a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? Okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this trampoline is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and we could pretend that this is a mailbox. Oh, I got a note back from my grandma. Dear Mika, thanks for the note. See you next Saturday for our tea party. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we could pretend that these blocks are my next door neighbor's house. Let's put some blocks here together to make a house. Oh, I like this one. Do you know what color this is? Yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's a one, two, three, four, square. <laughs> nice. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like this. And here's the roof. This is my neighbor's house. I'm just keeping an eye on it while they're on vacation. And ooh, come with me to the rainforest. Maybe we could ride our Skateboard through the rainforest. Wow, this is so fun. Whoa. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoa, what is this? Maybe we could zip line through the rainforest. Woo! <laughs> and <gasps> we could pretend like we're worms and dig through the dirt. Here we go. Doom, 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 doom. It's so much fun to use your imagination. Do you want to play some more? All right, let's do it. Over here. Look, a circle. Oof, I'm going to crawl through. Hello. Another circle, see? Whoa. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's down here. Hey, we could imagine that this is a colorful snake or a macaroni necklace. Have you ever made a necklace out of macaroni? <laughs> and I notice a pattern. See, maroon, yellow, maroon, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> yellow. So cool, right? Oh, excuse me. It also kind of looks like ketchup, mustard, Ketchup, mustard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, I see a yellow slide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I think there's one down here too. Yeah, a green slide. Hmm, which slide should I go down? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? <gasps> yellow or green? Hmm, I think green. Hey, will you meet me at the bottom of the slide? All right. 
See you there. Whoa! <laughs> that was so fun! Hey! <gasps> Let's imagine that these are colorful logs on a rushing river! Okay, let's see if I can get to the top without falling in the water! Can I do it? <gasps> I got this! I got this! I got this! I did it! <laughs> oh, it's over here! Whoa, check this out. Maybe this is a big vine that we have to get past, but it's always in the way. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. Hey, look, more logs on the river. Whoa, <laughs> this is so cool. Come on. More logs. Oh. You have to be careful. It's going down the water. <laughs> oh, I see another big vine. We're coming for you, vine. Whoa! <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> what else is over here? Oh, I see something. I have to go get it. Goodbye! <laughs> I had so much fun with you today at Billy Bees. It was really cool using our imaginations. Remember, we pretended to go to school, pretended to be doctors, we went to the grocery store. Oh, I wrote a letter to my grandma and she wrote back right away. <laughs> I had such a good time moving my body and playing. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, bye. <laughs>
These animals lived in water. <gasps> oh, do you see the fish? Let's count them. One, two, two fish. <gasps> Let's count the ammonite shells too. Ready? One, two, two shells. Awesome counting. <gasps> oh, and check it out. This is a fossilized sea turtle, an ancient one from millions of years ago. <gasps> Let's count its flippers. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four, four flippers. <laughs> Let's pretend to swim, 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 just like a sea turtle. <gasps> Whoa, check it out. This dinosaur is huge. Does this look like a Parasaurolophus? Oh, uh, no, he doesn't have the crest on his head. Let's see what this dinosaur is called. Oh, this is an Allosaurus. <laughs> cool, it has a really long tail. That's so it can balance when it's running and walking. Oh, and look at its fingers. Whoa, let's count them. One, two, three, <laughs> three fingers. Oh, and check out his sharp teeth. Did this dinosaur eat meat or plants? That's right, it's a carnivore because it has sharp teeth. Awesome job, friend. Okay, let's go find more dinosaur friends. Here we go. Check it out. We made it to the Hall of Footprints. I wonder if, oh, look, it's baby Joey. Let's see if we can catch up to her. Go! Joey? Joey? Huh, we must have just missed her. Oh, whoa, check out these dinosaur footprints. Hmm. Not much bigger than my foot. <laughs> Ooh, here I come. <laughs> oh, and check out these footprints. Whoa, the reptile that made these must have been really small because the footprints aren't very big. <gasps> check out these footprints. Wow. Paleontologists didn't just study bones. They also studied track marks. And this is a mold of a dinosaur footprint. Oh, whoa, it's so big, much bigger than my hand. Oh, I got it. Let's count the dinosaur toes. Most dinosaurs had three toes. Ready? One, two, <laughs> three, three dinosaur toes. Oh, check it out over here, some more footprints. But this, it's from a camel, and camels only had two toes. Let's count them. Ready? One, two. <laughs> Come on, let's check out some more footprints. Whoa, do you see those? I bet this is an animal you know. I'll give you a hint. Meow, meow. That's right, it's a cat paw. Let's count the toes. One, two, three, four little cat toes. <laughs> awesome job. I got it. Let's go see if we can do our own archeological dig. <laughs> do you know what this is? It's a dig pit. When we dig inside, we'll find fossils. <laughs> Are you ready for our fossil dig? <laughs> Me too. Wow, this feels a lot like sand. Okay, I'm ready to dig. Dig, 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 dig down deep. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, I wonder what we'll find. Oh, digging is a lot of fun. Oh, I think I got something. Check it out. It's a turtle shell. Awesome. Okay, let's put it in our pretend bowl. Doop. Let's dig over here now. Dig, dig, dig. Dig down deep. <gasps> ah! Hey, check it out. A 
Tyrannosaurus Rex. My favorite dinosaur. And it's orange. Aww. Just like one of Flippy's favorite colors. Cool. Let's keep digging. Dig, dig, dig. Dig down deep. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, what else will we find in here? <laughs> this is cool. I like how it feels on my fingers. Hmm. <gasps> Check it out. Oh, this is a big fossil. Oh, it's a dinosaur egg. <gasps> Whoa, awesome job. I'm still... <gasps> Another fossil! Check it out! It's a T-Rex claw. <laughs> Whoa! I got it. I need my magnifying glass. This helps us see things closer and clearer. Ooh! Whoa! Awesome job, friend! <gasps> Wait, what's that? Sounds like a dinosaur, but it doesn't sound like a T-Rex roar. Let's go check it out. Come on, T-Rex. <gasps> a Parasaurolophus roar doesn't sound like a roar at all. In fact, it sounds like a horn. Check it out. <gasps> Whoa, did you hear that? Let's try to make that sound too. Ready? Um. <laughs> Great job. Let's listen again. Wow. Let's try this one. This is what Joey might sound like. <gasps> that was so cool. Okay, let's keep looking for Joey. Is this the baby Parasaurolophus we've been looking for? <laughs> Let's check. What do you think? <gasps> I think so too. We found Joey. Are you Joey? <gasps> hey, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. I've been looking for you everywhere. <laughs> do you like to eat plants or meat? <gasps> That's right. Joey is an herbivore. Good, Joey. Can I give you some chip scratches? <laughs> this calls for a 10-second dance party. We did it. We did it. We never, ever quit it. We did it. Great job. See you later, Joey. Woo! <laughs> that was so much fun. It was awesome learning all about dinosaurs with you. We did important work digging in a dig pit to find fossils, and we even learned how to talk like a dinosaur. Honk, honk. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, friends, see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Nika. Today I'm at Discovery Children's Museum in Las Vegas, Nevada. This place has so many fun things to learn about. I love learning about art and science by tinkering with things to see what'll happen. <laughs> That's called an experiment. Yeah, let's do cool experiments together. One. Two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? Great, let's go. Whoa, water world. I bet there are some cool experiments here. Let's move our bodies like water. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this tall tower. I bet it does something really cool. The ramps help move the water down to these two big circles. Check it out. One circle is yellow and the other is orange. Ooh, the yellow one is moving a lot faster than the orange one. 
and look. Let's count the ramps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ramps. Oh, and look. Some balls. Huh, I wonder what'll happen if we put the ball in here. Let's try it. Whoa! Check it out! The green ball is moving on the ramp! Let's see where it goes! Wow! It's a ball pit! There are so many colorful balls in here! Red and yellow and green too! <laughs> that was so amazing! Water can do so many things! Like make sounds. What is that sound? Let's go find out. <laughs> wow! Check out these musical chimes. Huh, I wonder how we can make it make music. Let's experiment and find out. Oh, do you hear that? <laughs> yeah! Oh. The water is hitting the ball in the chime and making music. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> oh, and look at this one over here. Hmm, these chimes are a little different. I wonder what sounds they'll make. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Whoa. oh it makes a sound when it's in the water too. Sounds like a rushing river. <laughs> okay, let's flow over there. <laughs> Whoa! Check out these wheels. Hmm, they have different shapes. I wonder what that means. <laughs> I got it. Let's do a race. All right, back it up. Back it up. Are you ready? On your mark, get set. Go! And they're off. All right, they're going fast. Wow, the one with the cups is going much faster. <laughs> cool. Hey, I wonder what that is. Whoa, I wonder what these are for. Hmm. <gasps> Check it out. This one looks like slices of pizza. I'd like a slice. <gasps> <laughs> Let's see what happens when we do this. Oh, wow! It turns the water into different shapes and it comes out different ways. Let's try this one next. <laughs> Check it out! It's a fountain! <laughs> the harder I press, the higher it goes! Whoa! <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, and look at these wheels! Hmm, I wonder what happens if we spin them. Wow, do you see those bubbles? Cool. Let's spin them together. Oh, if we can if we can DJ Zika coming to a pool near you. <laughs> wow, look at the water. It's spinning around. And around and around. This is a whirlpool. It's kind of like a tornado, but with water. A tornado has air spinning around, and a whirlpool has water. Hey, let's pretend to be a whirlpool and spin around. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, I'm a little dizzy. Oh, let's see what'll happen when we put this red ball in there. Ready? Let's try two balls now. Yellow and red. In you go. Wow! <gasps> Ooh, let's try three balls now. One red, one green, and another red. There you go. Ready, set. <laughs> Do you think we should try four? 
<laughs> yeah! Let's do it! Here we go! Are you ready? Are you set? Whirl away! <laughs> wow! That was so cool! Okay, let's whirl over there! Do you see the yellow car behind me? I wonder how it works. Hmm. Oh, look! It has blue straps that are attached with hooks. I think the blue straps are so you can lift the car up. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look! Pick it up lever. <laughs> yeah! This must be a lever experiment. Ooh, let's go check it out. The bar balances the weight so that you can lift it with little effort. <laughs> oh, should we lift this car with the lever? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, I wonder what'll happen when I pull this rope. Let's see. Whoa! Oh, I lifted the car all by myself. Yeah, that was awesome. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> wow, levers are pretty cool. Hey, check out those stairs. I wonder where they lead. Let's go find out. Oh. Oh, this is a music room. Did you know when you hear a sound, it moves through your ear canal and makes vibrations that tell your brain what you're hearing? <laughs> yeah, very cool. And look, this room has so many things we can make music with and different sounds. Let's give it a try. <gasps> I wonder what would happen if we press this yellow button. <laughs> Let's find out. Whoa! Check it out! This has air! <gasps> Let's put it over here. Look! It's a music note. The note E. <laughs> Let's try this green one. Oh, that's the note. Okay, Blue, what do you have? <gasps> Archie! Okay, Purple! Hey! B! C! <laughs> Whoa! That's so cool! Let's try the orange one. D! That's a low note. <laughs> Do you know what this shape is? That's right, it's a triangle. Triangles have three sides. One, two, three. And they can make music too. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Whoa! Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> Check it out! This is so colorful. Hmm, what happens if we hit this with this yellow stick? Let's see. Oh, another note! Wow, let's drag it across. <laughs> so cool. Whoa, look, it's drums. Hmm, let's count how many drums there are. One, two, Three, four, five drums. Oh, this beat makes me wanna move my feet. Hey, I got it. Let's make a song. I'll give us a beat. Hey, I'm Mika, and I'm here to say I love exploring and tinkering away. Hey, give it a shot. Try it out, see what it's about. <laughs> Drum roll, please, for the grand finale. Yeah! Whoa! This place is so colorful. <laughs> I bet they have lots of things to tinker around with here. <laughs> What's this? Hmm, 
It kind of looks like a chalkboard. Let's confirm. <laughs> yep, a chalkboard. <laughs> Great job, scientist. <laughs> oh, and look, it rotates. That means it spins. <gasps> Let's spin and draw. That was fun. Let's keep exploring. <laughs> wow. Let's draw on this. <laughs> Whoa. Look. <laughs> Do you know what color this is? <laughs> yeah, yellow. One of my favorite colors. Ooh, let's erase now. <laughs> oh, erase. Now let's draw with this color. Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, blue. Hmm, let's see if you can guess what this is. Can you guess? Yeah, they're waves, just like down in Water World. <laughs> okay, what else did we draw? <gasps> hey, I know. Let's draw some shapes. <laughs> I like yellow. Do you know what this is? <laughs> yeah, a triangle, just like when we were playing the triangles. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, how about this one? <laughs> yeah, it's an oval. <laughs> okay, one more. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a shining star. <laughs> okay, let's erase and keep exploring. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Oh, we can build something out of these pieces. <laughs> let's give it a try. Ooh, I wonder what's in here. <laughs> Whoa! This is really bendy. <laughs> Ooh, let's make another bridge. Two bridges. <laughs> Ooh, let's make a third bridge. Wow! Okay, those connect there. Hmm, I think I need a couple more pieces. This'll work. One more. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, look at all these bridges. <laughs> Let's go through it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've got it. Let's make a flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, this could be a rose. <gasps> and this can be a daisy. <laughs> Perfect little flower garden. <laughs> Check out all this art. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> Look, a beach ball. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna throw it to you, friend. Ready, set. Oh, awesome catch. Okay, throw it back to me. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Check out these instruments. Let's play them. <laughs> oh, and look, a guitar. <gasps> Do you see that dog? <laughs> yeah, it must be someone's pet. Oh, good girl. <laughs> well, that was fun. Whoa, this place is amazing. We learned so much by doing experiments and trying things out for ourselves. We played with water. We lifted a whole car with a lever. And we tinkered around with some music and art. We did a lot. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! Okay, friends, see you later. Bye bye! Woo! <laughs> hey!
It's me, Flippy. And I was just making some sweet tunes on my tambourine. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Musical instruments are so fun. And this one is called a tambourine. <laughs> yeah! It is so much fun to play because you can play it like a drum. It has this outside part right here that you can hit like this. <laughs> but what's super fun about a tambourine is the back. Whoa, look at it. It has all these little jingles. <laughs> Do you know what shape this tambourine is? <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a circle, and all the little jingles and jangles around it are also little teeny tiny circles. <laughs> yeah, those are called zills. Ooh, zills. <laughs> That's a really silly name for something on a tambourine. <laughs> it is really fun to play because when you hit it, it makes a beat. Yeah, a beat. Have you heard of a beat before? <laughs> a beat is a part of music that you can feel helps you dance along. <laughs> Playing with this tambourine was so fun. What if you and I made up a song on the spot about a tambourine? <laughs> okay, let's try. Here we go. My name is Blippi. How about you? This is a tambourine. It's brand new. Bang it on your hand to keep the beat. Feel it in your toes and move your feet. <laughs> yeah, good job. That was so much fun learning about tambourines and making up our very own song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but look at this. This table is covered with different musical instruments. Whoa, look at them all. <laughs> hmm. Hey. Look at this over here. Do you know what shape this musical instrument is? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle. And guess what? The name of this instrument is the same as its shape. It's called a triangle. <laughs> yeah, triangles are really cool and make a very, very pretty sound. How about I hit this triangle, this little stick, and see what sound it makes? What do you think? Should I play the triangle? <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three, triangle! <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Let's play it again. If you close your eyes, it kind of sounds like a little fairy. Or maybe the bell telling you that dinner's ready. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> this triangle is really cool because it makes a really pretty ding sound. But depending on how you hold it or hit this triangle, it can make different sounds like this. Ooh, that's different. <laughs> Maybe not as pretty, but definitely cool. It would make some really interesting music. You can also hit it soft for a little ding, <laughs> or really big and loud for a big ding. Here we go. Whoa, triangles are so cool. Hey, and look at this over here. What's this? Hmm, well, this doesn't look like a musical instrument because it's not a musical instrument. This is a metronome. Yeah, this is really helpful if you're trying to keep the beat and stay on time. Mm-hmm, yeah. See this right here? This metronome is gonna move and tell us how fast the beat of the song is. Okay, here we go. And with this metronome, you'll see something really cool. Do you hear the dings? <laughs> Whoa, see, it moves back and forth and tells you the beat of the song. 
Woo! I'm getting a little bit dizzy after dancing like a metronome. Woo! <laughs> that was really fun. Hey, it's really important to make sure to stay on beat and something like a metronome is super helpful to keep you on time. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this! This is awesome! <laughs> I bet you might have seen one of these instruments before. Yeah! This is a keyboard! Or a piano. <laughs> yeah! And this keyboard is really awesome because it's an electric instrument. Yeah! This electric instrument means it needs electricity or batteries to make it work. Whoa, and look at how cool it is. It has all these keys, see? It has some white keys. Yeah, a lot of white keys you can press with your fingers and some black keys too. Yeah, in between the white keys. You can press those too to make different notes. Hmm. Notes. What's a note? Hmm, let's turn on the keyboard and find out. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa, that makes such a pretty sound. If you press one of the keys, it makes a note. <laughs> if you press a different key somewhere else on the keyboard, it'll make a different note. Whoa, that note sounds different. It also makes me feel a little different too. <laughs> that note sounds pretty happy. <laughs> this note sounds a little confused. Whoa! <laughs> and you can also play songs using lots of different notes. <laughs> the cool thing about a keyboard is it has so many sounds you can make all kinds of songs. Like, maybe you want a song to be a little spooky for Halloween. Woo, <laughs> it's like a ghost is around. Whoa, <laughs> that was pretty fun though. And you can also play things that are maybe a little more classical or serious, whoa. It's making me thirsty for some very yummy tea and cookies. <laughs> you also can play other things instead of just using your fingers. Whoa! You can be really silly and use your whole hand. Like, if I change the sound and make a fist, I can roll my fist and play a song. That's a really funny song. <laughs> I'm gonna play it again. Oh, keyboards are so amazing. You can even make songs that sound magical. <laughs> Whoa, music is so amazing. Hey, and when you use notes, it makes the song sound even better. <laughs> hey, earlier we made up a song about a tambourine, but we only had beats. Now that we have notes, let's sing a new song with some notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from Flippy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We sang a song using notes and made up a song using beats. <laughs> this was so much fun learning about musical instruments with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, good. Here we go. P-L-I, P-P-I, Blippi. <laughs> Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. I'm gonna keep playing some sweet tunes. And hey, this one even plays itself. Bye-bye.
me, Blippi, and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather <laughs> or a rock? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah, do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Okay, all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, <laughs> light. <laughs> wow, see, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah, you're right. Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier then three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right, now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> we have a T-Rex. Ah, okay, you can stand right there. Oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys, yeah. This T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So 
Let's put the same amount of rice in the balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense? Because they're actually gonna be roughly the, the no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect, all right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay, all right, one quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and... What? Perfect. Okay, oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. Now, we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa, I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay, stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount a volume, one quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense, which one is heavier. Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa, woo, 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 woo. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah, construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa. Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah. That is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Whoa. Found on mines, farms, and factories. Most anything Bulldozers stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer Some rough terrain. They can move all kinds of things. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Move over, it's about to roll. 
better move over Here comes the bulldozer It's a yellow machine Roll, roll on, bulldozer Better move over Here comes the it's bulldozer It's a yellow machine Put in the box. Here we go. Go to the other side. Dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow. That was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also bulldozers. Wow. Those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. Hello. Hey. It's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at. Whoa, today I'm at Young Chef's Academy in Covington, Washington. This place is so cool. Yeah, it's where young chefs, kids just like you, can come here and learn to cook some delicious treats. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, Flippy. Hey, who are you? My name's Chef Riley. Hello, nice to meet you, Chef Riley. Hey, do you mind if we go explore the kitchen? Go for it. I'll see you in a sec. Okay. Wow, look at this kitchen. It is so bright and colorful. Whoa, come on. Okay, the very first thing that I need to do when you enter kitchen is wash your hands. Okay, I'm gonna turn on hot water and then I'm gonna rinse them. Okay, get them nice and moist. And then we need some soap. Okay, and we need to scrub for 20 seconds. And one way to do this is to sing the ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> okay, now we get to rinse off our hands. Let's get them nice and dry. Now, once our hands are dry, clean, now I can put on an apron. <laughs> yeah, an apron is used so then clothes not get dirty when you're cooking with some food. <laughs> All right, and can't forget my Young Chef's Academy. Chef's hat. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> All right, check it out. This kitchen is so colorful. Do you see all these cabinets? Yeah. Whoa. These, yeah, are the color green. Ooh, this over here, yeah, that cabinet is purple, pink, yellow. Whoa, I bet there's a lot of cool things in these cabinets. Whoa, look at this. Some yummy vegetables. Hey, you know what kind of vegetable this is? Yeah, this is an orange pepper. <laughs> look at these. Yeah, some green beans. I sure do love vegetables. All right, <laughs> I'm so excited. This is going to be tasty. I am looking at the recipe of what we're going to be making today. Looks like we're going to be making crispy green beans. Whoa, those look tasty. And creamy ranch dip. Oh, this is going to be so yummy and healthy. I love vegetables and I love ranch dip. I wonder if we're going to be able to dip the green beans into the ranch dip. Yeah. Okay, so it seems like we need a lot of tools and a lot of ingredients. 
So, uh, let's get to it. All right, let's see what's in here that we need. Okay, looks like we need some measuring cups. Ooh, a small one. A medium-sized one. Another medium-sized one. And a big one! <laughs> okay. Put those right back here. Perfect. Then we need whoa, a juicer. This is where you can put a lemon or an orange or a lime, squeeze it on top, and then all the juice comes out the bottom. Okay, we'll set that down right there. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Hmm, oh, we definitely need some measuring spoons. Whoa, yeah, same thing, just like the measuring cups. The measuring spoons have four different sizes, from small to medium, the medium, the large. <laughs> okay, put them right, about right in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see, how about, uh, oh. Wow, a measuring cup. This is what you put liquids, and you could do solids, but this is primarily for liquids, and this is what you measure to see how much you have. Okay, put that down right there. Let's see, is there anything in here? Hmm, there's a lot of cool things in here. Whoa, look at this! It's a rolling pin! <laughs> oh, so cute! This is a small rolling pin. Whoa! And this is a big rolling pin! Whoa! They're used to flatten things out. I don't think we need those today, but they're pretty cool because you can use them for drums. Okay, enough playing. <laughs> let's get to cooking. All right, let's see. Um, probably right in here. Oh, yeah! Two ingredients that we need. Breadcrumbs. And flour. Perfect. Okay, we'll shut this. All right. There we go. And uh, let's see. How about some cold ingredients? Wow, look at this fridge. It's so organized. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some cream, probably for the ranch dip. We'll set that down right there. Ooh, some cheese, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll put that down right there. And then we have some eggs. Yeah, check this out. Whoa! Okay, we'll put those down right there for later. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that at home. And then we have some mayonnaise. Put that down right here. And some sour cream. Okay, put that down. And now, I think we're ready. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like we have most of the ingredients and tools, but this looks really hard. Oh no, if only I had some help. Huh. Want some help with these? Oh, sure. Hey. Hi, I brought the rest of our ingredients that we need. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, here's the recipe. What do we do first? First, we're gonna wanna preheat the oven to 425. Okay, uh, I know how to do that. Okay, preheat the oven to 425. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Thank you. All right, first we're gonna wanna do a tablespoon of flour into our bowl. Okay. We're gonna wanna make sure that we get a true tablespoon because that is not accurate. So we wanna scrape off the extra flour. Okay. Okay, can you do that? Sure. Okay, looks like we need some flour. Let's do a little scoop. go and perfect great job Lippy. Thank all you. right next we're gonna want to crack an egg okay Let's see so at young chefs academy we crack an egg using the table not the edge of the counter so that it doesn't get all over the floor and miss okay <laughs> you want to crack hard and use your thumbs to 
break open the egg. Just like that. Perfect. You don't want to put the shell in a separate bowl. Okay, here we go. Let's use the table. There we go. Great job, Luffy. Thank Next you. Next, we're going to want to wash our hands because we touched a raw egg. Oh. rinse them off. It's really important to rinse off your hands and wash them completely after touching raw eggs or meat or anything like that. Now we're ready. Okay. All right. Next we're going to want to do a cup of panko. Okay. Use our cup there. So this looks about right. Yeah, so is panko just like breadcrumbs? It is, it's dried breadcrumbs. Okay, all right. Oh, I'll just use that. Okay, one big scoop. All right, in the same bowl? Yeah, oh, so sorry, in a different bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, here we go. Whee! Perfect. All right, next we're gonna wanna add the rest of our spices. Which okay. is garlic salt and salt. Okay. So we're gonna wanna use a, tea, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt in our panko. Okay. There we go. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then put it in the panko. Perfect. And then half of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Thank you. Wow, salt is so yummy. There we go. Can you use your whisk and whisk that up? Yeah. Oh, check it out. This is a whisk. Yeah. And How you do you do it? Whisk with your wrist. Okay. Whoa. This is a really good way to mix good. it all up. Wow. Yeah, you want to use it like that. All right, next we're gonna wanna put our egg into this mixing bowl, the clean mixing bowl that we have. Okay, here we go. Put the egg in this bowl. Whee! Oh. <laughs> All right. And we're gonna wanna use a little bit of water. Some water in this. In with the egg. Thank you. All right. Put some water in with the egg. Perfect. Can you whisk that, whisk that egg up with the fork for me? With the fork. Okay. Forks are easier to whisk eggs than a whisk is. Oh. So you want to whisk it just like that. Okay. So let's take the fork and let's whisk the egg. Whoa. Did you see how the yolk broke up? Yeah, and now it's all mixed up. Perfect. That's perfect. We're gonna grab a couple handfuls of green beans right in here. Okay. All right. Perfect. And toss it in our flour. All right. Make sure you get them all nice and mixed up and coated in flour. Okay. Toss it. Wow. This Look is going to help the egg stick to the green bean. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look, they used to be green, but now they're green and white. <laughs> hey, remember how we washed our hands? Yeah, good thing we did because I'm touching food with my hands. You don't want to touch anything after you touch egg or raw meat. You want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay. All right. Now we are going to touch the egg. We're gonna put the green beans. We're gonna use two different hands. We're gonna have our dry hand and our wet hand. So we're not gonna touch the egg with this hand. We're gonna put our green beans in here and toss it around. Okay. Take the fork out. And now, let's do a little 
saucy. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> I'm spilling! That's okay. Okay. Wow. Look at it. <laughs> There's so much egg on these green beans. Okay. All right, great. Now you're gonna to wanna to put the green beans into the panko. Toss them around real quick. Okay. Wow. Good. That looks wow. fun. And once they're nice and evenly coated in panko, you wanna put them onto the tray. Okay. Whoa. These are gonna be so yummy. I know. I'm excited. Let's put them a little bit nicer so okay. that they're not so messy. Okay. All that right. way they'll cook really evenly when they're spread out on the there tray. There go. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Because if they're on top of each other, then the heat can't touch the whole green bean, huh? Exactly. You want to make sure that the whole thing is getting cooked. We're ready for the oven. Okay. Go. Here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Those will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. Whoa, that was really fun making those green beans with you. Wasn't it? Yeah, let's make some ranch to dip them in. What ingredients do we need? We need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk. Oh, wait, did you say buttermilk? Yeah. Oh, I said cream earlier. Okay, so we need buttermilk. Yeah, they're very similar, but buttermilk smells different and it's a little thicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, lemon juice, dill weed, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have everything. I think we do. All right, next we're gonna wanna, so I have mine all mixed up. Can you put the mayo and the sour cream into your big bowl? Okay, here's the mayo. Then we have the sour cream. All right. Go. Awesome. Now we're going to want to do half a cup of buttermilk into okay. your bowl. Alrighty. There we go. Perfect. Alright, now we're going to want to get our fourth, one fourth teaspoon. Okay. Perfect. I'm ready. And we're going to use that for our dill right here. Okay. Parsley and our chives. Okay. Dill, parsley, and chives. There we go. Good job, Buffy. <laughs> Next, we're gonna want our half teaspoon. Okay, a little bigger. <laughs> All right. All right, and we use that for our garlic powder okay. and our onion powder. All right. Okay, let's give it a little scoop. Okay, and then this one. Perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. All right, perfect. Let's mix that up with our whisk. And don't right. forget, we whisk with our whisk. All right. Whoa, this smells so good. Once it's all mixed up, we're gonna cover it and place it in the fridge to cool. All right, we only have three more ingredients. Okay, what are they? Lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. First, we want to juice our lemon. Okay. So you have a lemon right up there. Perfect. We have it cut in half, and we'll use our juicer here. We want to make sure we squeeze really tight, pushing down and twisting it around to get all of that juice out. Okay, yes, I'll try. Oh, there we go. Good job. Oh, yeah. When you take it off, your lemon should look something like this. Yeah. It's almost empty. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's that for you. And then we'll want to pour our lemon juice into our ranch. Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> awesome. Mix that up. All right. Yum. Now we want to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right like this. Hey, 
put some salt in here. There we go. Whee! <laughs> and a pinch of pepper. So we'll go about three twists. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's mix that up. All right, mix, mix, mix. Maybe remember to mix with your wrist. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, this is gonna be so yummy. Delicious. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. Does that mean the green beans are done? It does, you wanna grab them? Sure. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, yum. Wow. Oh, look delicious, Blippi. Whoa, check them out. Oh my gosh. All right, Blippi, it looks like our green beans and Zesty Ranch are all ready. Oh, good. Those look yummy. Check them out. Whoa, I am so excited. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make these. Of course, you did such a good job. Come back anytime. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is delicious. Silly. Yeah, you'd think because they're green, they're not good. <laughs> but hey, trust me, it's really fun to try new types of foods. Yeah, like these yummy green beans that we made. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yum. Even healthy foods can be really yummy. <laughs> good job cooking. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Wasn't that fun making those green beans and that ranch dipping sauce? Yeah, it was so tasty. Hey, if you want to check out the exact recipe, you can go to Young Chef's Academy website and check out their blog. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. <laughs> and today we're here at Feast on This <laughs> in San Diego, California. Whoa. And I am so excited because today, you and I get to learn about a catering company. <laughs> yeah! They make all kinds of tasty food at special events, like birthdays, ooh, <laughs> or weddings. <laughs> yeah! This is gonna be so much fun! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! Look at this really cool kitchen. And hey, who's this over here? Hello, <laughs> it's me, Blippi. Hi, Blippi. Hi, what's your name? My name is Michael, and I'm an American Sign Language interpreter. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and this is Matthew. Oh, hi, Matthew. Hello, I'm Chef Matthew Baker. I am the owner of Feast on This Catering Company. And guess what? I'm deaf, so that's why I have an interpreter who's here with me so we can communicate. Ooh, that's so cool. Hey, I have an idea. I bet Chef Matthew will help us cook some yummy food. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we're all ready to get started. Great, come on over. Come on. Whoa. So, Chef Matthew, what are we cooking today? Hmm. So we're gonna make fruit pizza. Ooh. And it's gonna look like this when it's all done. Whoa, look at it. It's a pizza, but it's covered with different types of fruit. <laughs> and I'm really excited because I love pizza. Oh, it's so delicious. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So, Chef Matthew, what's the first thing we need to do to make the fruit pizza? Hmm. 
Okay, well, I am excited to have Chef Blippi with us today. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up. So can you take this and rip this part off? Okay. And put down the crust. Okay, first, we're gonna open this up, unwrap it, right? Then, whoa. Just like that. Do you hear that? Ooh, look at it. <laughs> it's so sticky. Oh, we're gonna take this out. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and now we unroll it. We're gonna make it really flat. See, like this. Here we go. Let's see if we can unroll. This is so sticky. <laughs> I can't wait for this to be done. This is gonna be so tasty. <laughs> now we move on to step number two. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, it in the oven at 350 degrees. That means it's time to dance. Best thing to do while you wait for your pizza crust to finish cooking is have a lot of fun dancing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, I'm pretty tired after all that dancing. I think we should keep on working on the other ingredients and we'll come back and get the crust a little later. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay, so what's the next step? Okay, now we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting. Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> okay, so cream cheese, awesome, and I guess. So we're gonna put eight ounces of cream cheese, which is in that bowl. And now we're gonna add some powdered sugar. Okay. Can you hand me that half a cup measure? Yeah, half a cup. Yeah, right here. Half a cup. Okay. And we're gonna fill it up. Whoa! <laughs> Look at the sugar. It looks like snow. Whoa! It's so cool. And it's really soft when you touch it. <laughs> I bet this is gonna make it so tasty. Okay, so we take the sugar and we're just gonna put it on top. Oh wait, <laughs> you're gonna make a mess. You have to put on an apron first. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. Silly me. <laughs> Here we go. You don't wanna have a sugar mess. Yeah, always make sure you put on an apron so you don't get your clothes covered in powdered sugar or <laughs> other food. Okay, think. I'm just about. You need help? Ready. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So you can put that in. Okay. Here we go. Whoa! Look at it go! <laughs> Woo! Oh. Okay. So now, what do we do next? Oh, now you're gonna put in two tablespoons of pineapple juice, which is right there. Okay. Here we go. Two tablespoons of pineapple juice. One tablespoon, woo, <laughs> and two tablespoons. Whoa, it's looking really tasty already. Okay. And now you can mix it up. Ooh, okay. I guess we get to mix it up. Here we go. 15 minutes later. <laughs> yeah, let's check the oven. And Chef Matthew, he gave me some really nice orange gloves. And they're my favorite color! Woo! <laughs> okay, let's get out the crust. Okay, we have the crust right here. Oh, and it looks so flaky and golden brown. I can't wait to eat this yummy crust. <laughs> but let's put a couple more toppings on it because it could taste even better with those. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> we'll let this cool off a little more. So. What should we do while we wait? Okay, so. Whoa. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, we're gonna talk about all the fruits that are here on the table. Yes. So, okay. this is a banana. Okay. And we'll cut it up. Now remember, if you use a knife, you wanna make sure you have a professional, <laughs> like Chef Matthew, or a grown-up to help you out, because they can be a little dangerous. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Ooh, really good at cutting. <laughs> I'll try my best too. Here we go. Okay, so now that the banana sliced, what do we do with Okay, now we have blueberries. Ooh. Blueberries. Ooh, did you see that? 
Chef Matthew was teaching us how to sign blueberries in ASO, or American Sign Language. And these are kiwi. Whoa! You see these? <laughs> they look so yummy. And there's no sign for kiwi, so you have to spell. Okay. K. K. I. W. W. I. I. Whoa, that was really cool. It's, let's see if we can spell that one more time, a little slower. <laughs> and this time, you can try to follow along with us if you like. Are you ready? So, K. I. W. <laughs> Kiwi! Doesn't have a sign, so you just spell it. <laughs> Whoa, and what about this over here? These are strawberries. Whoa, have you eaten a kiwi before? <laughs> They're so sweet. <laughs> Chef Matthew, do you have a favorite fruit? And I love have, having strawberries all year round. But during the summer, I love eating blueberries. Ooh, I love eating blueberries in the summer too. <laughs> wow, this smiley face has a really big smile. <laughs> Look at it. Whoa. <laughs> you missed the nose. Oh no, what are we gonna do for the nose? Hmm, wait a minute, I know. <laughs> we have a strawberry. <laughs> so silly. This is gonna be a really cool nose. <laughs> and. I bet this smiley face is really happy because it gets to smell like strawberries all the time. <laughs> okay, here we go. And we need a little more strawberries so it tastes super good. So let's make some strawberry. Some ears. Yeah, let's put some ears on the side. Maybe add a tongue. Oh, a tongue? <laughs> Whoa, that's a really good idea. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're done decorating all of the pizza. Well, this was so much fun learning about ASL and making a really delicious smiley face treat. <laughs> Wait a minute, Flippy. You missed one thing. Hmm. One very important thing to make a perfect pizza. You need the pineapple glaze. The glaze, oh! <laughs> well, I'll let you do this part, Chef Matthew. And I guess we pour the glaze on top. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, <laughs> the glaze is gonna make it so tasty <laughs> and really sweet. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, that looks great. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Matthew. <laughs> that was awesome. <gasps> we did so many amazing things and followed all the steps to make a really yummy pizza for our feast. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you both. <laughs> And it was nice to have a fun time with you. Hey, wait, I have an idea. Why don't we spell my name together? Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I. <laughs> Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi. I'm just out on a walk. And hey, did you notice the ground is really wet? Yeah, it must have rained here recently. Maybe today you and I can learn about rain, weather, rainbows, and walks. <laughs> wow, weather can sure be very unpredictable. Yeah. Hey, if it's sunny, you might need a tank top. If it's cold, you might want a stocking cap. <laughs> but if it's about to rain, you definitely want some rain gear on. Woohoohoo! Check it out! Yeah, I got my rain jacket on. Whoa, it's fully waterproof. So even if it pours down tons of rain, yeah, I will stay really dry. And I got my matching bottoms on. Yeah, what color's my outfit? Yeah, it's the color yellow, just like the sun. Where's the sun? I don't know. <laughs> but hey, check out my boots. Yeah, I have black rubber boots on. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm missing, yeah, let's go find an umbrella. Whoa. OK, 
Okay, let me put my hood on. Wow, it's really starting to rain. All right, check it out. An orange umbrella. Let's open it up. Whoa! Whoa! Now there's no rain hitting me at all. Wow! Okay, let's put this one away. What's this next one? Yeah, the first umbrella was really small. And this one, whoa, is so big. Whoa, whoa, check it out. Whoa, whoa. What color is this umbrella? Yeah, blue and white. Woohoo! Whee! Okay, let me put this down before I fly away. Okay, and for this umbrella, whoa, check it out. Yeah, another big umbrella. And the colors of this umbrella are, whoa, it is so stormy out. Yeah! It is white and green! Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> wow! I love the rain! The cool thing about rain gear is you can even splash in the puddles and streams that were created by the rain and you won't even get wet! You see this? Yeah, this is my rain collector. I set this out earlier before it started to rain. And then all this rain collected from the top. Do you see how much it says? Wow. Yeah, it says about two inches. Yeah, that's just over five centimeters of rain. Wow, that's a lot of rain. Okay, I'm gonna pour it back onto our planet Earth. Because when the rain falls on our planet, it's really good for it. It helps keep all the plants nice and moist and our oceans nice and full. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> hey, check it out. Yeah, these are my rainbow oculars. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, they're the colors of the rainbow. Have you ever seen a rainbow before? Yeah, they love to come out after it rained. Yeah, a rainbow is an arch of colors made by light and water. Let's see if we can find one. Oh! 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 oh a rainbow! Oh! A double Does rain come from? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, let's start with water in a pond, or a stream, or the ocean. Yeah, water is a liquid at this time and place. And then water goes what's called evaporation. Yeah, evaporation is when the water becomes these little tiny particles and goes up in the air. Yeah, it turns into a gas. 
goes up in the air and then turns into some clouds. Whoa! Yeah! Clouds are awesome! Whoa, look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a piggy! Oink, 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 oink. Look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a T-Rex! <laughs> wow! And then all this gas water starts to come closer and closer and closer. Yeah, and those clouds start to form into liquid water again. Yeah, and then rain starts to fall. Whoa! Yeah, it's raining! <laughs> Whoa! And then they create puddles and streams and ponds and the water goes back into the ocean again. And then the cycle goes over and over and again and again. Wow, that water cycle is so great. Woohoo! <laughs> Today's weather forecast, sunny skies in the morning, followed by storms in the afternoon. Don't forget your umbrella. Looks nice, lots of sunshine, clouds of white, and a bright blue sky. But the sky's turning gray, there's wind and some rain. It looks like it's gonna be a stormy day. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days. A lightning bolt, that thundering sound, there's a storm coming any moment now. Tornadoes, hurricanes, and floods, sometimes weather can be dangerous. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days. And when it's really, really cold, snowflakes will fall from the sky. Everything goes quiet, and everything is covered in white. Hey, the rain has stopped, and the sun's shining again. Blizzard cold, frigid days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.